The final crisis for President Trump is the documents in his deal describing the future of the TMTG. What you see in those documents are lies upon lies. There was absolutely nothing about the background of people like Bruno Wu. The entire document involved so-called false documents, or fraud. Whoever bought his stocks is going to lose big. Back then, when GTV was under investigation by the SEC, if they could find any document that showed I or GTV was fraudulent, I could tell you that I would not be sitting here but in jail today. Not even God could save me. No one can evade. I can feel the chairs of the US prosecutors and judges squeaking right now. They are all riled up about the fact that the CCP robbed billions of dollars from Americans in less than 100 hours. And it was all from President Trump's so-called anti-CCP followers. The CCP laundered this money away, involving Bruno Wu, Roger Stone, Sam Nunberg, and PAG. Not all Americans are fools. They are just slow to react. You have to remember, none of these documents can be burned or disappear because they have been submitted to the SEC. So next, what is in the unreleased documents? That is the deal between TMTG and Truth, President Trump's platform. What is Trump's share that has yet to be revealed? That would be even more explosive. In summary, this deal President Trump made was a series of operations by Bruno Wu, the CCP's intelligence agencies, Yunhong CTI, ZGYHU, Art Capital Holdings, and PAG, in order to stop President Trump from joining Guy Tur to gain political influence, and at the same time to tarnish his image through potential insider trading to manipulate the stock market and deceive American shareholders with potential falsified documents and misrepresentations. And these will result in numerous lawsuits. The CCP may even arrange countless lawsuits and disqualify Trump as a candidate for U.S. congressman in 2022 as well as the presidential election in 2024. And this may eventually indict President Trump for a criminal charge. Should he be convicted, not only would he not receive a dime, but his entire family would also be involved in this. So, President Trump is in grave danger. And at the same time, the CCP would like the whistleblower movement and the NFSC to attack President Trump and to make us lose trust from all of President Trump's followers. So, fellow fighters, we must do the followings. First, do not criticize President Trump. Instead, we have to expose the CCP's evil. This is the CCP's unrestricted warfare, and we have to save President Trump. Third, we have to awaken the political, economic, and judicial sectors of America. More and more about PAG will be revealed in front of the U.S. judicial system, and in the end, PAG will be put under criminal investigation. 